and we're back february 28th last day of february 2023 and it is run streak day 148 um not super cold this morning 39 degrees as you can see not even wearing a jacket pretty comfortable temperature a little bit windy but not too bad should be a nice morning run all right so it's day two in a row of wearing the uh, Sacconi Exodus ISOs. Feeling pretty good. I don't know why I hated them so much before. I think it was just because they were so heavy. And maybe at the time my legs weren't in the greatest shape to be uh, lugging around those heavy shoes. But they feel fine now. Legs are in good shape now, of course. 148 days into a run streak. But uh, yeah, I'm liking them. So it's kind of nice that I have a uh, somewhat brand new pair of running shoes. <laughs> that uh, saves me from having to go buy a pair, I guess. Because my other ones, uh, two of my pairs of ASICs are now getting close to 300 miles. It's pretty crazy, all the ice in this river. I think it was only like, I don't know, three, four days ago, I was shooting the opening scene on this river and it was basically half ice, half water, and the ice was banging against, you know, pieces banging against each other. It was really loud. Now it's pretty much all melted. There's the odd pieces of ice floating on the stream, but they're like tan colored, dirty, gross looking ice. And uh, yeah, it's like a bunch of foam down there as well. Reminds me of being on the Oregon coast where waves start crashing and it gets real foamy. Bunch of foam washes up on the beach. That's kind of what it looks like down there. It's crazy. Foot's still a little bit sore. But after like a mile or so, that kind of stiff, stiffness and soreness kind of goes away. Feels pretty normal right now. I'm like uh, almost three miles in at this point and there's pretty much no pain. So that's the good thing. Uh, but we're on what, like day three of it being sore. So that's kind of the bad news. Not healing as quickly as I want it to, but it's feeling better than it did. So shouldn't have any problems making it to uh, 150 and beyond in the uh, run streak. All right, making a pit stop here at Pete Favero Park. That way we can talk about <laughs> last night's Tom Hanks movie. So only a few more nights in the uh, Tom Hanks movie marathon. Last night kind of went uh, awry. So we had rented a movie called Inferno from the uh, library, not knowing that it was actually the third in the Da Vinci Code series. It goes Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and then Inferno. I've only seen the first one, so I didn't really want to watch the third one without watching the second. So we set that one aside, maybe we'll watch that one later, and instead we replaced it with Volunteers, which was actually uh, suggested by Dan. His channel is uh, Dan Shevick Steps and Soundscapes, go check him out. Uh, anyway, Volunteers is a 1985 comedy movie, it has Tom Hanks, John Candy's in there, Rita Wilson, and a few other people that I recognize who were really, really young in the movie. Um, the plot of the movie, though, is that Tom Hanks gets himself in trouble doing uh, some gambling, some sports gambling, and other gambling as well, and uh, basically can't pay it back. His parents refuse to help him. Um, basically, his dad's like, nope, I'm not gonna give you the money. It's time to learn some life lessons. And basically, he has to escape these guys. So he hops on a plane, to join the Peace Corps and do some volunteer work in Thailand. Uh, that way they can't like follow him basically. And once he gets over to Thailand, he meets uh, Rita Wilson and they uh, start to kind of have like a little like fling or relationship or whatever. Or he tries to, to pick her up basically. He's kind of like a smooth talking like Yale student basically. So he thinks he's like, you know, super smart and all that stuff. And she doesn't really like him that much at first, but eventually he, uh, gets her to warm up to him anyway. Um, good movie overall. John Candy's character is hilarious. His uh, character's name is Tom Tuttle from Tacoma. <laughs> it's great. Uh, he was probably the funniest character in the movie. Um, 
yeah, just a fun movie overall. Basically, while they're over there in Thailand, they have to build this bridge, and there's a drug dealing faction, and then also a freedom fighter faction, both of which want control of the bridge, because whoever has control of, of the bridge controls all the traffic through the area and basically owns the territory and yada, yada, yada. Um, I won't spoil the plot too much uh, for you, but yeah, it was great. I think we watched it on, uh, what was it? HBO Max, I want to say. So if you have that, go check out Volunteers. I'm going to rate this movie at 4.5. 4 four out of five stars for volunteers. All right, back to running. So we've actually decided what we're gonna do after Tom Hanks, uh, the Tom Hanks movie marathon is over. We're doing a Simon Pegg and Nick Frost movie marathon for one week. And uh, interesting thing there, I was at Goodwill yesterday, browsing through the uh, DVDs and the Blu-rays, found Paul on Blu-ray, $2.50 and I was about to pick it up and buy it. Unfortunately, I got a call, got an order from a customer, so I had to go. Um, came back about, oh, I don't know, 90 minutes later or so, it was gone. Somebody grabbed it. So I missed out on Paul for $2.50. I was gutted at the time, but good news is our local library up here has it. So I'm having them hold it for me and a few other uh, Simon Pegg movies. I'm gonna go pick those up uh, probably tomorrow. Pace today running has actually been pretty decent. I keep looking down at my watch, again going back to yesterday and these shoes, thinking that I'm running really slow. It just, they don't feel fast. But my pace today, I think I'm at like 820, so not like blazing fast, but wouldn't say I'm going slow either. Pretty weird though. I gotta get used to these shoes still, I guess. A few more runs, maybe it'll feel normal. All right, back from the run. Five miles, normal, you know, everyday run at this point. Another run, another five miles. Another morning, another five miles. Anyway, pace today, eight minutes, 15 seconds, so. Not too bad, second day in a row running in the uh, Ciccones and kind of liking them now. It's weird that I used to hate these so much that I would only like wear them occasionally to walk in, but they're actually doing pretty good at this point. So very happy with that. Um, yeah, great run overall. It's starting to cool down a little bit because of the wind, but it's supposed to get up to like, I don't know, 48 degrees Fahrenheit today or something. It's gonna be a decent day. I wish the sun was out. That would have been a little bit better. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna go upstairs, take a shower, drink some tea, eat some food, get ready for my day. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care.